Hello everybody, welcome back. Hey, a few weeks ago, Bob from RJ Bay Woodturners was with me and you saw us cast a blank of worthless wood of mesquite burl. Well today I'm going to turn that blank, I'm actually going to turn two pins out of it, give you a look at cross section. I've squared this blank up. I've squared this blank up and you can see we've got our mesquite burl and then we've got our antique red mica powder and there's a picture of the front as you can see I'm gonna split it down the middle I think and I'm gonna do a vertex roller ball magnetic roller ball on one side and I think maybe a Wall Street on the other side so we'll get two out of this little pin bank I'm glad you're with us stay tuned we'll see how it goes the first thing we'll do is split it right down the middle trim the width up just a little bit just so it's square I don't want to take much off of here I just want to square this blank up the bottom of that mold was a little concave I'm just going to square it. Okay. Now we have two square blanks. We've got combination of worthless wood and resin. Now we will mark the center of each blank. Okay, this Gadsby tube is a 2764th. That's the same as the Wall Street, same as the Sierra. But this vertex roller ball, magnetic roller ball, calls for a ten and a half millimeter. Ten and a half millimeters is 413.4 thousandths. I can also use, as I don't have a ten and a half, so I can use a Z bit, that's 413, or I can use a little closer tolerance, I can use a 1332nd, which is 406 thousandths. And the tube itself measures. 401. So I can really use either one, a 13 30 seconds or a Z bit or a 10 and a half if I had one. I'll probably use the Z bit. First we're going to put a starter hole with a 60 degree centering bit. Now I have switched to my Z bit. Got my depth marked right here. It's just I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow the lathe down and we'll drill it. Make sure to keep it cool.
again if you hadn't seen any of my previous videos what I was cleaning that bit and cooling that bit down with was denatured alcohol it helps flash off the heat okay that was our entry side this was our exit side so we went right down the middle in our tube Be a good fit. Now to prepare them for gluing the tubes in. I think this resin is probably a little transparent, so I'm going to paint these tubes. I'm not sure what color yet, but I am going to paint these tubes. I did decide to paint the tubes white because I wanted it a little brighter behind. If you paint them black or dark blue or something, it, it darkens the whole look of the pen and I wanted to brighten it up as much as I can. So now we're just going to go through the process of uh, putting epoxy on them, inserting them, and then letting them dry. One tip though that I did pick up, since this is a combination of wood and resin I coated the inside with thin CA glue I did this last night and it's set overnight so that way I could seal any wood that might be you know on the inside from the worthless wood give me a good surface on which to let the tube bond to the wood and the CA you might try it, see how it works for you. We have our CA mixed up. Now we'll just do our tube assembly here. Got it set just below the surface there, so we should be in real good shape with that one. So there we are, let them dry. Okay, I rounded the blank over. I got the sharp edges off. I did that on the bandsaw. Now I'm just going to flush trim them. I'm going to be using my, my uh, sanding jig. If you haven't seen how I do this, you can. I'll put a link in the video below. There will also be a link up in the upper right hand corner of your screen where you can see how I flush trim my pen blanks. Okay, I've got it set up between the turn between centers and got the edges knocked off. So we'll do some. Turn this pan. Okay, I've got the corners knocked off of it. This blank is going to be amazing. This is that mesquite burl. And then you can see our purple resin, but but I did find a void here. You can see this void right here and right here. So what I'm going to do is fill those with some of the same purple or antique red mica powder that we used to cast the blank. And then I'm going to put CA in it. should hide it just fine. We'll let that set a few minutes.
Okay, our little field job did real well. It's practically gone. This blank is going to be amazing. Look at this burl. We'll get it finished up. I'll get it sanded up and polished. We'll see the completed turn blank here in just a minute. As I said, I'm putting this in a chrome magnetic vertex roller ball. I really like this pen kit and uh, I sell quite a few of them. And it's real simple to, to assemble. It's got a coupler that goes at each end. The coupler is identical. So we'll press coupler in one end. It doesn't matter which end. fit there. The other coupler goes at the other end. And that's all the pressing there is to it. Next step is we screw on the mid. our roller ball. We put our spring in the cap and screw on the cap. And then that magnetic, I just really like that magnetic part. You can just take it off, put it at that end. There's a shot of our pen. See how washed out the purple is? But that burl is amazing. Well, I'll tell you what, that mesquite burl was really turned out to be just beautiful. But I am disappointed in the resin. See how washed out it looks? Probably would have been better if I had painted it a darker color. Now Bob, an RJB woodturner who was here in my shop when we cast this, he took half that blank home and he turned a pin. His video is also available on his channel. If I have a link to the video, I'll put it in the description below. If not, I'll put a link to his channel and you can see that video there. He did not paint his tube, so you can kind of get a difference. Um, I really wished I had uh, painted it darker so we could get a, a real good contrast between not painting, painting white, and painting dark. But we don't. But we got nice pens out of it and uh, I'm glad you guys tuned in. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Share our channel. And if you had not subscribed, we'd ask that you do so. Helps our channel a lot. Leave me some comments. Leave me some questions. I love to interact. We really, really appreciate everybody tuning in. And don't forget to go to Bob's channel and check out his video and see how we did things a little different. He cut his blank a whole lot different than I cut mine. And uh, so it's interesting, the, the approaches, how, how they vary, but you end up with great pens. That's one thing great about woodworking. There's so many different ways 
to do things and get the same great results. So, we appreciate it, and until next time, be creative, be thoughtful, and be safe.